Well, sunshine back today across the valley, but gustier winds with a cold front that blew through this morning. Cooler weather's blowing in. It's still kind of warm out there, but you know, it's not 95 like it was in a lot of areas yesterday. So cooler weather is hanging around for at least the next couple of days. Sunshine for the most part. You might see a few wispy high clouds from time to time, but uh, pretty much a lot of blue sky tomorrow and then warmer weather gradually returns for the weekend, but doesn't look like we'll be seeing a huge, you know, huge warm up like we saw a couple days ago when it was, you know, in the mid to upper 90s, even over 100 in some areas yesterday. So may, may stay out of that territory for a while. Red flag warning though in effect for Hidalgo, Star, and then up into the counties north of the valley through 6 p.m. This means the air is dry, it's breezy, you don't want to do any burning because uh, the dry, breezy conditions could cause wildfires to spread. And you may look at this map and say, well, we'll see in Cameron County. I think I'll go burn something there. But no, you don't want to do that either because you know, technically this is where the advisory criteria is, but it's still very dry and windy across most of the valley. So yeah, no burning at all today. Uh, the conditions will gradually improve later tonight and tomorrow, but the humidity will still be low again tomorrow and even kind of low on Friday. So still may not be the best days to burn. Uh, 82 in Wesleco right now, 85 in Brownsville and 85 in Rio Grande City. And temperatures cooler today and once the sun goes down, the air is dry enough that we will see a pretty good drop in temperatures tonight. The breeze is still blowing pretty well though. These are the sustained winds, about 20 to 25 miles per hour, but gusts have been close to 40 miles per hour at times a day. So it is still a bit windy out there. I think the winds will be at about this level for the next couple of hours and then gradually decrease this evening, but remain kind of breezy at the coast through most of the evening. Now, the air is very dry too. dew points are down in the 30s and lower 40s. And what that number means is the, the lower the number, the drier the air is. And if you'd like percentages, here's the relative humidity, which is in about the 15 to 20% range or so across the valley. Both those numbers are pretty low, but on our muggy meter, dew points down in the 30s are way down there at the bottom of the scale, kind of off of the dry range, kind of into the drier range. Uh, but this will uh, kind of stay in this level tomorrow and kind of creep its way up slowly on Friday, but the really muggy, sticky stuff will probably hold off until at least Sunday or Monday. Now, because of the dry air and the cool, the cold front that moved through, temperatures will be cooler tonight. We should drop through the 60s late tonight and bottom out mostly in the 50s by morning. So a nice cool morning tomorrow. If you're up early around sunrise, we should be in the 50s nearly everywhere except for maybe right at the coast. But this is the time of year you want to get out and enjoy that because there aren't too many more cool mornings left. Satellite radar shows mainly clear skies across the valley. The cold front that came through is way, way offshore and future track shows the breezy conditions across the area fading away later this evening. Low humidity, cool temperatures and clear skies tonight as the winds decrease and then tomorrow sunshine comes back again. Temperatures will be back around 80 or so in the afternoon, maybe a little higher, but humidity stays down for the next couple of days. So the first 1570 forecast 50s tomorrow morning and maybe even 50s again, upper 50s in many areas Friday morning. So you have those two mornings to get out and then the the humidity starts to increase with warmer mornings over the weekend, but highs mainly in the low 80s tomorrow, a couple degrees warmer Friday and then a warming trend through the weekend. But most areas should stay below 90 degrees. I imagine parts of the upper valley, especially Star County, will probably hit the 90s over the weekend. But look toward the end of the forecast, Letty. Yeah. Next week, we could actually see maybe a chance for showers and storms to come back by either Tuesday or Wednesday. Looking forward to some of that rain. Yeah, I mean, it's been dry and like we mentioned, it's dry, so don't do any burning now, but right. maybe a little rain next week. Exactly. All right. Looking forward to that. Thanks a lot, Alan. Well,